Are we back? I think we should be back. We're back. Nice. So, um, yeah. Yeah, now it was my internet. Yep, very much. The annoying thing is, so my uncle is gone, right? He's, he's, on, he's on holiday, which is why I'm looking after his, his bird. But it also means he turned off his Wi-Fi. So whereas, you know, usually I would have his Wi-Fi to back me up when mine went down. So I could at least notify you all that my Wi-Fi, that my internet is down and my stream will go down. I don't have that now. <laughs> so I saw like, internet's down. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> that means internet's gone everywhere. <laughs> anyway, welcome back. I guess. So uh, yeah, let's. I don't know how much we missed, but uh, they are. They are. Um, they told me to look for the cracks in the system, pretty much. All you gotta do is answer a series of questions, and I'll craft a personalized drink inspired by what you said. It's like a quiz. Kind of quizzes. Right. <clears throat> the gist. I'll describe some sort of an odd situation, and you answer how you react. I usually do four questions, and nothing else to it. Here we go. Prepare for question number one. After being tasked with creating a computer game about dating monstrous eldritch gods, you've come up with several characters. Which of the possible god beings is clearly the hottest and most dateable of the lot? Really? Of all kinds of questions you could ask me? You're asking me about hot and dateable? Chat, I think I'm gonna need your help now more than in the game. Ab Nipparat, mostly abs with a gorgeous blonde mane. What's that one? Oh, yes, agreed. How is that? Hot. I mean, that is definitely a hot one. The blind idiot god, laser fuzzy. I feel like everything else tells me to not go for that. Ugo Satla, the grotesque tree with a warm heart. Aww. Tube flex, one arm, eternal flexing. <laughs> Ouch. Name is Misty, ethereal beauty, if a bit translucent. Wolf ram, half wolf, half ram, half tank. That's, that's 150%. How does that work? I am so confused by this question. So, hot. I'm guessing is that one. Let's go for that one. I'm not sure that is what they're asking me, but I'm so Time confused. For number two. The globe has been struck with what can only be described as a zombie apocalypse. You're stuck at home with little supplies and no weaponry to defend yourself with. What is your strategy? Unlock soul survivor mood. Find weapons, kill until I'm the last one left. Just get turned into a zombie. It's the safest and easiest way to get by. Black zombies and apocalypse scenarios are still played out. I agree. Next up, question three. Almost there. You get to cook for a group of friends, but are lacking some very important ingredients without which your meal will hardly be a masterpiece. From what little you can scrounge together, which will make the best topping for a pizza? Pizza. Onions, especially if I get to shed a tear. Pineapple, 110% always a fervor. Come on, you know it's pineapple. The only choice is pineapple. Stop lying to yourself. You think you'll get an option, another option than pineapple? Pepperoni, the boring option. I don't like any of these! Alright, final stretch. As I said, four is all anyone ever needs, right? By the way, that's not me being against pineapple on pizza. If that's what you want to do, go ahead. Feel free. I don't like it. But I'm not a big... Like, warm... Pineapple, I do just think is not my thing. Maybe on cold pizza. Ooh. Maybe on cold pizza. 
beast. Exactly. You wake up after an accident that has left you in a coma for decades. Your body and mind are ravaged beyond repair. The doctors offer a solution. A cybernetic brain transplant with a personality of your choice. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I saw it happening. I saw it happening. I finished my talk and I saw it. You're so right, Boo. And I'm like, considering the delay, <laughs> I think... I think this is about me not putting pineapple on pizza. <laughs> and then the okay, never mind came up. <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> uh, then again, you know, I'm not I'm not too big of a pizza lover anyway. I love like the pizza dough. Bluecorm is now live. Thank you, Stream Elements. Thank you very much. You forgot about the delay. <laughs> yes, it's amazing. It really is amazing. <laughs> um, I I don't like I don't like pizza as a whole. But I mean, thinking about it, the combination tomato sauce and pineapple, I think it's just no matter whether it's hot or cold, it's just gonna be bad. So if you would like use the the pizza, bread, and then pineapple. I think that could work. Bourbon and background. What will it say? <laughs> I think it's. I think it, it doesn't like me not completely saying no to pineapple on pizza. I think that's the thing. So sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Um, let's see. A cybernetic brain transplant with a personality of your choice. Which will you choose? An efficient calculator. Why do I have to choose a murder bot? Calculator. You Efficiency. Nice. We'll calculate the results. We'll take that a moment. I feel like they're very soft. Like, their voice is really soft. Hmm. Leans to stability, prone to conformity. Mm-hmm. I've got the appropriate concoction in mind. Just got a stream notification from B server. A whole seven minutes late. Ugh. Wow. Start off with a nice mixture of four centiliters of gin, one centiliter of elderflower liqueur, one centiliter of sugar syrup, two deciliters of club soda. Splash in some lime juice concentrate, add several slices of well smashed cucumber and some cubed ice. Okay, yeah, I have no idea what to think of this. The quiz tells no lie. I think a suitable name would be Borehole. Well, thank you. First one's on the house. To drink, smooth rails rolling into the coast, then receding gradually, a constant rhythm of symmetrical alternation, grinding of the edges. The taste recalls a harmonious interplay of physical forces soothing a turbulent soul, until all that's left is a polished plain of alabaster. It, it's almost a that changing experience. Heck, an understatement of the century! Now what else can I get you? <laughs> Your tip jar is pretty neat. Close works in the office, yeah. Heck, were I able to count and name all the folks? Likely haven't fully realized the size of this place. We've got you reapers and all the myriad departments, the custodian legion, the weariless data grinders of the calculatorium, the abysmal archive with its archivists. Cadaver resources, they're just plain odd, but someone's got to deal with the internal issues. Middle management, nobody knows what they actually do. Higher management, but they don't visit us. Basically ever. Same with fate. Many of the regular workers come by the den though, so keep your eyes and ears open. What else you got in mind? 
I'll be going. Yeah. Au revoir, little reaper. Bye. Who's this? The air is eerily cold as if frozen in place, too scared to move an inch. Huh? What? What do you want? We back? Should be back. Should be back. Hi everyone. Sigh. Nice. That was just in time for, you know, the stream not to be down, I think. Well, you know, not down down, I think. At least it, just the time seems to be going still so yay nice let's hope that was the last one you didn't miss anything though i stopped i i noticed immediately so that was good it's a good thing to have stream open on the side really works stream didn't die yes <laughs> yeah but uh, gus is not very kind though hey now gus play nice yeah exactly well seems i'm stuck with you now you want to ask questions or something Sorry, they're hella cool. Why, thank you. You're nothing but a sweetheart, ain't ya? I'm talking to Gus. Ah, shucks. You're the only one who truly treats Gus with respect. I'm the janitor. I clean up the damn mess you make. Liquor, spirits, booze, fire water, rock gut. You're after something. Ever looked in the mirror or thought about the clientele of this place? Where do you think the drink goes? None of you have a stomach. Anything you consume falls through the rib cage, straight to the floor. <laughs> Pretty gross, right? A gift to the world from all you pompous reapers. Or could be at least a little more considerate. Gee, uh, thanks. Eh, something else you wanted? Simple. I float around and I possess stuff and make the stuff float into the trash bin. You can possess inanimate stuff. Like dust, for example. One dust particle at a time. Or the drinks. One droplet at a time. Bird miracle. Eh, it's fine, I guess. Gives me something to do. As if the highest management ever gave any thought to us lowly drones. We're all nameless custodians and spawns to them. Literally. Do you really? Or are you just another number in a long line of numbers, hmm? Eh? Something else you wanted? Nope. Yeah, yeah, I gotta get back to work anyway. I'll think about this next time. Employee of the month, Reaper667. <laughs> That's all you can do here? Okay, let's go back to the elevator. Um, the game coming around, pretty sure. Oh, there is another cloud. Psst! How do you live with yourself? 
But maladies are ravaging the populace, microbial forces having their way. A complete failure of the human body? It's not that good. Not good at all. Why can't they just stop getting Dude. sick? Yeah, life's not fair, bonehead. You're probably powerless. Ain't anything you can do about it. Exactly. Disease will spread until it engulfs all. Consider it a warning. Please leave. Wait, that was a week, right? Oh. Right. I have an eraser. Let's put it in here. University mourns as a grim academic epidemic claims the life of promising student. Immunologist deaths of dead as epidemic hits hardest at those trying to combat it. Grim scene in local hospital explosion. Patient presumed to have ingested grenades prior to MRI scan. Oh. Ouch. House fire caused by loose wires investigation finds. Curse of an ancient cheese. See, we want to curse our cheese. Claims its next victim as local curator dies on a job. Noted wrestler Bo Bo Boenner. Yeah. Accidentally slingshotted into a pool of lava. How? Bre Tech Bros AI breakthrough imminent. Promising promises founder of Trans Global Inc. Uh oh. Also, we only start. It's too. It's too. Like, I know it is almost two o'clock, but to have that in game is a bit weird. What's the rules? Okay, see if we can clean up the mess from yesterday. That might give you just the boost you need. Do not forget, you may leave troubles behind, but new one always lie ahead. Two humans have to die, spare humans who, who seem helpful against the troubles. David is the founder of Trans Global Inc., a company that produces high-tech gadgets like smartwatches and digital home assistants. For the past five years, David has been the foremost proponent of algorithms and artificial intelligence research. Wait, they were on here, right? AI breakthrough. Ugh. Raking leaves is hard. Blowing them around with a leaf blower is much more fun. That's why Brian take care of the, takes care of the leaves exclusively with the leaf blower starting at 6 in the morning. The toxic fumes of the machine... Well, if that one dies, no one's gonna wonder about it. Sweda has been planning a hit on a fancy museum for years. So naturally, an exhibition of an ancient treasure piqued their interest. It was supposed to be preliminary scan to assess your situation, but upon seeing the world's oldest cheese, they felt a mighty need to steal it immediately. They're stealing it! So I kind of want to, like I said, you know, anything with the cheese, we want them to die. But because they are stealing it, think about where it could spread to. I want them to live. Oliver stole toys when they were young and their family was struggling to find happiness and misery. As they got older, they became a regular swindler in order to improve their living situation, but after a while saw the futility of the endeavor. In the pursuit of finding a lie they deserve, they've assumed an identity of an identity thief. That's weird. Sanskar is a lonely person going through a rough patch in life and have thus become much more slop much sloppier when it comes to checking if new hires are trained on food preparation and proper kitchen safety techniques. They've got better things to think about. Besides, what could go wrong? Titus is the latest heir of a noble prodigy. As such, they managed to retire young at 33 due to all the inherited wealth. These days, they spend their time long Lounging listlessly in constant ennui.
Who is helpful against the troubles? None of them. I mean... Maybe this one? And I want this one to live. I can mark. That's Pog. It could be like... It could be like... Jeez. Anyway. Two humans have to die. done one more who else seems most useful against troubles I don't know. Two people died. There we go. Yes. I don't know. We need to make a choice anyway. There is another cloud. Welcome, Grim. It is the end of the week. Your performance review draws near. How do you think you have been doing? I don't want to be too cocky. Interesting. Hmm. Yes, your answer has been recorded for the psych eval. Now then, before the assessment, let us look over your daily conduct. I see the required profiles are all here. Excellent. This bodes well for the evaluation. I guess it is time to get started. Do I want to ask about today? What happened today? Yes. What about today? Oh, absolutely. Things are already looking up. Do not worry about it. Fixing the world is a slow process. So, keep at it. As long as you follow the rules, it will all get better. Now, where did I put those papers? Ah, here we go. Right. Looking at these stats, the numbers say... Your conduct over the seven days has been most excellent. I am, sincerely, surprised and pleased by your display of loyalty. So much so that the office has deemed you fit for a raise. Oh, do not thank me, Grim. We are just getting started. Speaking of, the raise also comes with a prize. Really? The office is proud to present you with an award of excellence. Display it proudly on your workstation. Yay, we get an award. Really? Thank you. Do not let this cloud your judgment. You still have much to learn and many rules to follow. I like ice cream. One gets used to them, if in the right mindset. Fret not. As such, your seven day evaluation period has Yay! concluded. Yay! You have passed. Woo, 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 woo. That is all. Until tomorrow, Grim. Ha! 400 coins. Need ye cures for ailments or a trigger to ward off a curse? What's this? Spins and worse. More to you, less to others. Fell in the very soothing. It's a fidget spinner. Nah. We're good. Yeah, we did well. We did really well. Nice. That wasn't so good. 
Was it? It was, I gotta race. It's okay. We can figure it out, make it work. Crisp and clear like the azure pond at the forest glade. I don't know what you want from me. You were born for this. That's what fate keeps telling you, ain't it? It's like a surge in your spine. A faint echo of a perfect chord. It's very close, Grand Reaper. Be seeing you. I think I like fate more than I like these clouds. Yeah, let's go. Let's go this one. Yes. Best newcomer for your contribution to the killing of many humans. Nice. Money. Give me a sec. Cheese thief incriminates self by checking into hospital with massive cheesy diarrhea. Exactly, so much fun. That's why we have to let him live. Our most popular video of the month. Janitor chasing single leaf for three hours. Oh gosh. Urban air quality worsening. Stress levels of citizen rising. Are leaf blowers the cause? Major outbreak of salmonellosis. Salmonellosis hits Cosmopolis city. Hundreds infected so far. Researchers find numerous backdoors in transglobal ink products, granting access to any number of unknown parties. Economista Titus Lost Testament states assets of their estate to be auctioned off, invested to a diverse selection of firms and NGOs. Notorious identity thief disappears, but are they truly dead? We cannot, we can never be sure. A whole week already! My, the time flies. Well, more tasks straight ahead. I think we are making a difference, so let's continue with what we are doing. Three humans have to die. Spare any humans aged between 35 and 60, if possible. Okay. Between 35 and 60. Three humans have to die. That means... This one needs to be spared. And this one needs to be spared. And the rest has to wait. No. Yeah. Let's see. Satya is just making some money, extra money, providing the teaching services in a couple of wealthy private households. They're saving up for a lengthy worldwide trip during which they plan to visit as many countries as possible. Satya is an avid fan of kite flying. I have an idea how this one's gonna die. That's sad. I'm so sorry. Franklin considers themselves a hotshot pilot. Having modeled their demeanor after an action... Oh gosh. Action movie they saw at a young age. They wear large sunglasses all the time, drive around on a motorcycle and dump reckless suns in their aircraft. Well, let's, let's guess how that one dies. Part-time scholar, part-time engineer and part-time musician who delights in building their own musical instruments out of scrap and spare parts. I want these two to die. Considers Marston masonry a formidable art, formidable art, a mixture of intricate design and impressive monumentality. They convicted that Cosmo Cosmopolis City needs to construct a proper city wall again. Nature was not stingy when it came to granting charisma into Mercury. A true silver tongue, this smooth talker could convince anyone to do almost anything. As such, they found their calling being a motivational speaker. Recently, they've included Rosal... Rosal... Rosalitize... Rosal... Google? Rosalitize... What does that mean? Convert or attempt to convert someone from one religion, belief, or opinion to another. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess. Fine. We'll follow the rules. Not happy with this. 
not happy with this. But yeah. Grim, ah, yes, there you are. Good, good. <clears throat> okay, now, listen up. Great work today. You fulfilled your tasks adequately, and all that. However, an emergency has occurred which requires my utmost attention, and I must depart for a couple of days. Yes, straight to the point. While I am gone, another will be in charge. Even though you passed the evaluation, I cannot leave you without any supervision. You will have more freedom, sure, but it is not limitless. Okay. Therefore, you will have to continue your daily reports as usual. I will be informed of your progress. But still. Why, you are already acquainted. It will be Lady Poddington, of course. Are we already acquainted? <coughs> oh. Really? Why do you only get 200 now? I, I know what you're thinking. I do provide ancient powerful widgets. Pair of cat hairs would look really nice on me and inspire all the feline in the world. Just don't talk or even think about the film adaptation of the musical, okay? Infernal Illuminator reveals that which is most deeply hidden once you've already made the choices and are passing through again. Else, it can't show much anything, because that's how things works, okay? Wait, what? Once you've already made the choices and are passing through again. Confused. The cutie reflex tool- oh, that's the one again. Nah. We're good. No, wait, let's, let's buy the cat ears. Just because we can. Sure. You know why I was the scourge of the seas? Oh, Cause ain't nothing out there that frightens me. Once we looted an ancient tomb for gods and kings long forgotten. And you know what, matey? Found there the most particular set of ears. Wearing them gives ye supernatural hearing. Happened to overhear a mutineer plot that very night. So I threw them all right overboard. Plotting with the fishes now they are. <laughs> Without being able to see that emo, it just looks like I'm thanking you, dankies. <laughs> well, if you then, you know, take like the Dutch or I'm guessing the African way, yes. <laughs> let's let's equip the cat ears. Wait, why do I get a human face? Wait, what? Kawaii. Yes, let's do kawaii. Wait, I also look like a cat now. Read this. Join Mercury on the path of glory. Commune for those who seek revelation. Major agrees to build a small 50 meter city wall at the border as a sculpture to ages past. Wall will protect against barbarian raids if those still existed. Yeah, thanks. Foolhardy pilot attempts complicated aerial stun crashes aircraft straight into the ground. Where are the bees disappearing? Submission for mis for my ordinary day photography contest now open. You think we could like join? Kidding. The harvest festival starts in a few weeks. Bring your largest veg vegetables to the contest. The farmer with the biggest vegetable gets a cash prize. So right after I left, mere moments it seems to me something happened at the plant department. Do not ask. As such, I should. I need you to fill in today. Basically, as a grim for them. I hope it's okay. Boots are for the day. Three plants have to die. 
Okay. H2. Position pest control. Dionaya is a Venus flytrap that lives near a pond inside a forest and has versatile diet of books. It munches on all day on mosquitoes. I love it. Let it live. Flies and dragonflies. Overall, an exemplary band do plant doing its part in the ecosystem. The Cucurbita people is an extremely large pumpkin, weighing it weighing in at almost half a ton and still growing. It lives in a local sustainable farm. Lately, the farm has had problems with flood flooding, which has destroyed many of the pumpkin plants. It would be sad if that one died as well. Hidden in the grass next to a small plant next to a honey farm, almost got stepped on by a farmer, a dog, a horse, and two children. This one has to die because of the bees. Argentina. Ag Ageran Ageratina. Good heavens. Also known as white snake root. Oh, that one's not good, right? There's a plant that grows on a cow pasture. It is half a meter tall and has small white flowers. It's always ready to release its small white fluffy ta white tails with the wind. Isn't that like a bad plant? Looks like one of those bad ones. Lisa is a houseplant of photography student. In many cases, it has been over underwatered. However, it has high quality. It has quite a high tolerance for neglect. For neglect. Poor growing conditions. Its main hobbies are photosynthesis and people watching. I love that one. Okay, so these two die. One more has to die. So is that gonna be a houseplant? The perp pumpkin? I mean, it's an extremely large pumpkin, right? And then... We already know who's gonna win. That's no fun. That one's gonna die. That one's gonna live. That one's gonna live. We're done. Yes. Thanks, Dave. Hello, cat. The cat sits behind the table, very serious and official, like ignoring your presence. Oh my god, you are so incredibly cute and fluffy, Cospa Lady. So, wake up, cat. I'm supposed to report to you. The cat turns her head towards you, staring with her one open eye. She mutters, then places her pawn upon some documents littering the table. Okay. She then curls back into a bowl and closes her eyes. See you tomorrow, I guess. Oh, I can give the rubber turbo. Yes, please. She pats the chew toy with her paw. The cat eagerly stares at the toy gerbil, fully ignoring your presence. 